Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, playing some more Animal Crossing New Horizons. Just a quick video this time, there is an event going on at the museum called a Stamp Rally, and I wanted to demonstrate what that is, because I didn't know what a Stamp Rally was. Um, it's a real thing that happens in Japan, it seems to be a major part of the culture. Uh, basically, you go around and look at, le like, uh, attractions like landmarks and stuff and you get stamps and when you fill up your car you can get a prize if you find all the stamps. Um, I'm just gonna go do it and demonstrate. It's in the museum. Uh, it's been going on since I think the 18th. Um, and yeah, uh, you can do it every day. You get the same prize each time though, so you don't really need to redo it. Hi Blathers. Who? Oh dear, pardon me. Why hello Danielle. Welcome to the Canterlot Museum. You know, we are hosting a stamp rally today as well. The stamp stations change every day, you see. That way the rally remains a fresh challenge even for those who've already given it a go. Now, the prizes do remain the same. Still, you can win additional copies by playing each new day. Tis quite a hoot. Do give it a try. Okay, so basically you visit the uh, bug area, the fossil area, and the fish area. And in each, there will be three stamps to get. So we're going to start with the bugs. Um, I think the idea here is to encourage you to go into your museum because the design of the museum in this game is really nice. And I hadn't been looking at it, um, but it is very pretty. And you can see all the like stuff you've donated is hanging out in here as well, which is pretty neat. Wait, are those fish? Diving beetle, giant water bug, pond skater. Yeah, there are definitely fish in there. In the bug section, that's interesting. <laughs> you don't have camera control here, by the way. The camera moves on its own uh, as you approach stuff, which I think is a little annoying, but it's all right. You get pretty decent looks at everything based on what you can see. Based on like the view, the, like the angles it gives you are pretty good. Yeah, there's definitely fish here that I've caught and put into the other section. So that's interesting. Um, anyway, we're looking for, oh, there's, there's some nice butterflies, there you go. Uh, we're looking for the stamp stations. They all look the same. If we can find one, I can show you what they look like. There's a regular spider. Uh, there's a bagworm. Oh, there's one. Okay, so these are what stamp stations look like. This one's facing sideways, so I can't see it very well. But yeah, you talk to stamp spot, sun peak path. So each, each of the spots has a name. Uh... And you, you, start, you have a little comment about each space as well, as you can see. There's something very relaxing about this space. And then you can stamp it down on your card and it tells you what the other ones are. The butterfly garden and hiding bugs. Okay, so butterflies are over here. Is this the garden? Is this the butterfly garden? Or do we need a different butterfly garden? There might be several. Hmm, let's have a look around. So yeah, um, the locations of these little stations are randomized. Uh, I think there's maybe like 10 different places they can be. Oh, this is definitely the butterfly garden. There we go. So yeah, here's another stamp station. You can see it's got like a blathers stamp on it to give you a hint. And I guess that's this is what it is in Japan. You just have like real stations like this that you run around and try to find, which sounds like fun. Sitting on a bench at this fountain. It's about as classy as it gets. Stamp. And yeah, you can have a sit down here if you want. Enjoy your time with all the butterflies. <laughs> My goodness, there's a lot of butterflies in here. There's actually some duplicates, which is interesting because you can only donate one of each bug. So I'm not sure where the others came from. Like, I don't think there's any butterfly breeding programs that work with just one butterfly, but maybe there are, I don't know. Oh, hello. Look who it is! Somersault! That's one of the nicknames they've given me. Nice to see you here, Labar. Let's talk. So, I'm curious. Did you come here to check out any bug in particular? No, I'm looking for this stamp station you're standing next to. Uh, over here we've got... Is that a scorpion? I think so. Pillbug. Centipede. Oh, it's the centipede. And the moth. Alright. And then over here, that's an or or orchard? Orchard mantis, yeah. Those are kind of hard to catch. They, they get scared off very easily. Yeah, you can see it's blending in with the flowers. Then you've got uh, a stick insect and I think a walking leaf. Walking stick, walking leaf, yeah. 
And here's the last stamp station anyway, so we just interact with this. Hiding bugs. Bugs. Masters of disguise. And stamp. So there's three in this area, as you can see. I collected all the bug stamps. So we're actually done in here. Um, I'm gonna have a quick extra look around just to have a look at some of the stuff. I think that is the tarantula. Yeah, I have a tarantula. And this one's the scorpion, right? Yeah. So um, the aggressive bugs live in those two cases there. Uh, then over here we've got a bunch of like mantises and uh, other jumping things, locusts and all that. Uh, then we've got an ant farm here, and you can see this little like magnifying thing to see some of the ants bigger. You can also see that the ants have clearly escaped and they're going on a wander, which is pretty funny. Uh, and here's the laboratory, where we're doing science on flies, I guess. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, that's pretty much the bug section done. Uh, there's a couple more, I think those are wharf roaches? Yeah, wharf roach and hermit crabs are the things you can find on a beach basically. Um, and that's, this joins back to the first room, so I think that's this section done. Uh, once you've found all three stamps in a section, you can go talk to Blathers. Do, 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 do. You can go talk to Blathers, there we go, there we go. He's asleep again. Hey Blathers. Who? Who? <laughs> oh dear, pardon me. By my beak, you finished the stamp rally in the bug exhibit. Your willingness to explore the bug rooms with such gusto is... admirable. I myself find lingering there quite impossible. Any hoots, here is the prize that was promised. You can see it's a piece of furniture. Jolly good, I shall now present you with the completion stamp. I assume this is part of how a stamp rally normally works. They put one more stamp on to say you got everything. Now, should you find yourself exploring the other exhibit rooms, do try, try collecting stamps there. Someone such as yourself is sure to find it a worthy pursuit. Uh, to be clear, that is exactly what Blather says regardless of whether you've been to the other rooms yet. You just have to talk to him again and do the other rooms. So that's why I'm doing them like separately like that. Uh, anyway, the item we've been given is a bug plaque. Uh, I'll show what it looks like once we're done looking at all of these. I'll put up the plaques to demonstrate. We'll be in my basement because there's nothing in there. Plenty of room. Okay, so here we are in the aquarium. Or the aquaria. I guess there's several. I don't know. Like, how much of this exhibit is one aquarium, and then the rest are extra aquaria? I don't know. Uh, here we've got some, some fish. I think these are all freshwater fish? Yeah, they are. Yeah. Stamp spot. The pond. I feel like these guys are little aquatic athletes. Go team! Stamp. So yeah, it's... it's Basically, this event is encouraging you to go into your museum and look at everything. Which is good, because it looks really good in this game. Uh, it was nice in New Leaf too, but here I think it's prettier. Uh, you can see... Yeah, see the camera automatically swooshes over so we can have a good look. I didn't move it, it did it by itself. Uh, then over here, this is the headwaters. You can see there's some salmon stuff there, right? Golden trout, cherry salmon, and char. Okay, so salmon and some other things. Cool. Uh, and there's another stamp spot there too. Stamp spot. Headwaters. Different fish live in different parts of the same river. Wow. Stamp. Uh, by the way, the reason I'm all purple right now, I actually have purple hair right now. Like, in real life. If you've seen pictures of me, you probably know my hair's pretty dark, so it didn't work so well. It's just like slightly purple, but eh, it's still fun. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of little fishies in there. Uh, I'm pretty sure I only donated one of those, so I'm not sure where the others came from. Um, anyway, this room is really pretty. Uh, you can take some good pictures too. Uh, the camera does work in here. It doesn't have any special features, I'm pretty sure. It's just a regular camera. Oh no, it actually does move over a little bit to give you a better look. Interesting. Like, if you, if you watch what just happened there. Just come back here, set the camera back. Walk, 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 walk. Camera out. See, it turned a little bit. Neat. Uh, football fish down there. I think that's a coelacanth. I do have a coelacanth. I think that might be it. Football fish. Coelacanth. Yeah! <laughs> um, 
I think this is the wrong place. That is not a stamp station. I've been confused by that a few times. I think it's just like a garbage bin or something. <laughs> um, da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Yeah, the last one's going to be in this room. Can we look down that hole? I'm not sure. Doesn't look like it. Hmm, that's a bit annoying. You can, however, go through this tunnel. I really love tunnels in Aquaria. Like, you go through the tunnel here and there's water, there's a fish swimming all around you and you're, you're oh, it's great. That's my favourite part. <laughs> uh, we've got lots of nice fish in here, as you can see. There's a red snapper. Uh, there's a barred knife jaw. There's a hammerhead shark. As far as I know, they won't eat each other, so I'm not sure what they are eating, because, you know, they don't die or anything. Um, and here's the coral reef. There we go. we got uh, the clownfish, the surgeon fish, the butterfly fish, the ribbon eel is hiding over there. I assume there'll be some more that go over this side that I haven't managed to catch yet, because that part's completely empty. Stamp spot. Coral reef. Ooh, a colourful, vibrant, warm sea. I want to swim here. I wonder why colourful is spelt like that. Like, this this should be the European localization or whatever. I'm in Australia, and that's where I bought the game. I collect all the fish stamps, and I told it I live in the Southern Hemisphere. But, I don't know, it's still using American spelling. It's a little weird. <laughs> Hmm. Ba -da -da. Anyway, we're done in here, so... Can you sit on that? Yep, you sure can. Oh, look, a seahorse. Cute. Uh, okay, so we're done there. Uh, we'll go get our fish plaque. I believe Blathers says something very similar for each one, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see anyway. Uh, da -da. Hi, Blathers. Who? Who? Oh dear, pardon me. Hoot, I say who? Look at you, you've finished the stamp rally in the fish gallery. I said you haven't taken any photographs of your quest? Your nook phone takes marvellous photos, and the fish rooms make for an elegant back backdrop, to be sure. What, what? <laughs> of course, here's that prize you were promised. I do already have all of these in storage, but I'm just going to demonstrate what they look like once I get these three. Totally good, and I shall present you with the completion stamp. Stamp. Now, should you find yourself exploring the other exhibit rooms, do try collecting stamps there. Someone such as yourself is sure to find it a worthy pursuit. Okay, uh, so we're gonna do the fossils. There isn't one in the works of art exhibit, presumably because that one's a lot less interesting than the other exhibits. <laughs> Especially because, um, Jolly Red hasn't shown up again since... Oh no, he's shown up twice. I, th I think I caught the previous time on video though, I think you saw that already. Uh, so my fossil exhibit is actually finished. I have all the fossils. Out here you can see lots of small ones, basically. Uh, if you look at the signs, I'll tell you what they are. Trilobite. Anomalocaris. Alright. Lots of stuff there. Oh god, is that a spider? Ammonite. Amber. I can see it there, but the sign's not telling me about it. Is there another sign I need to look at? Maybe if I keep looking at the sign, it'll say more? No. Well, I'm confused. <laughs> anyway, uh, in this next area, we have all the dinosaurs, and they're pretty awesome. And things that aren't dinosaurs, but are commonly called dinosaurs. Uh, here's one you can run right under if you want. There's a friend. There's another friend. Lots of friends. Which one's my favorite? Hmm, I don't know. They're all pretty awesome. I think the one in the next room is my favorite, actually. So, but we, we don't need to go there because all the stations are in this room, but we'll go there anyway. Boop. Stamp spot. Aquatic reptiles. I should call this display Not Dinosaurs, Chapter 1. <laughs> Get it? Because they're not dinosaurs, they're aquatic reptiles. Stamp spot. Pterosaurs. I should call this display, not Dinosaurs Chapter 2. <laughs> I haven't had those two together before, but I guess it makes sense. <laughs> I believe, by the way, you can see above the stamp thing, there's like a little thing with three circles. I think those are the cards. Like, you get a card from one of these, and then you can start stamping it. I think that's the idea. 
Because you can see there's a big stamp there and like a pad to get ink and all that. Also, all three stamps are identical, which is kind of weird. You'd think that would be different to ensure you actually go to all three stations, but mm, they're identical. <laughs> Stamp spot. Synapsids. Distant relatives of mammals. Huh. Stamp. I collected all the fossil stamps. I'm going to go to the next room anyway, just because I like it. Uh, I think it's probably one of the coolest bits of the museum. So down the bottom here, we've got, uh, there's a mammoth, that's Sabertooth Tiger, right? Yes. Uh, then we've got, whatever that is, me 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 Megacerop, Megacerops, me Megacerops, M Megaloceros, and over there we've got a skull. Oh, Australopith. I see. Okay, uh, anyway, the really cool part of this room is if you go up here, you can see these lines going from each of these fossils up to each of the species in this game. <laughs> and there's an open spot here, so you can stand here and say, Hello, I'm human, and my skull is nothing like that shape, because um, this game is very cartoony. <laughs> anyway, yeah, all the villager types are here as well, which I think is pretty adorable. Um, but yeah, that's it. I think I've already shown you that in a previous video, but eh, it's it's pretty cool. It's nice to see. Uh, anyway, we got all the stamps in this section as well, so we're going to tell Blathers we did that. And then we're going to check the fossils we're carrying with Blathers as well. Just because I want to get them checked. It's not part of the rally or anything. Do, 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 do. Can you look at these? Nope. Hmm. Hmm. So yeah, um... I don't, I don't know if I've ever shown the work of art section. I'll just duck, duck in there shortly. Um, again, there's no rally in here, and it's less interesting, but I just want to show you what it looks like. It pretty much looks like an art gallery, I guess. I have very few works of art in here, as you can see. I think those are the only two. <laughs> um, maybe there's more? Maybe there's another one. Let me just have a quick look around. Uh, I think those are the only two. But yeah, you can see it, it looks pretty much like you'd expect an art gallery to look. It's not nearly as impressive. Oh, this one as well. There we go. Sinking painting. Sophilia is a tragic figure in the Shakespearean play Hamlet. There is an otherworldly expression on her face as she lies unconscious in a river. She is surrounded by the beauty of nature as she floats between life and death. Hamlet's a pretty good play, by the way. <laughs> um, I mean... It's not really a hot take. I think people know that Shakespeare wrote some decent plays, but yeah. Yeah, you can see this area is not as interesting. Um, it might be better once I get a lot more paintings in here, but yeah, I've got a couple. Also statues. I haven't got any statues, and there are some good ones in this game. Anyway, uh, let's get the fossil plaque, and then I'll just show you what they look like. Who? Who? Oh dear, pardon me. My feathers you finished the stamp rally in the fossil gallery. As the host of these rallies, it pleases me to see to my pin feathers to see you frolic amid the fossil It pleases me to my pin feathers to see you frolic amid the fossils, so that was a bit of a tongue twister. Indeed it is with great pride that I present you with the prize you were promised. You like your alliteration there, Blathers, huh? Jolly good. And now sh I shall now present you with the completion stamp. Pop. You can't actually look at these cards anywhere else, so I don't know why it matters that you have a completion stamp on them, but, you know, Hoot and what what, you've collected all the stamps available today? To think you enjoyed the stamp rally to such a degree, I can't help but puff my feathers with pride. I thank you, and I hope you continue to revel in all this museum has to offer. Uh, I'm also going to check my fossils. I already know that, like, they won't be ones that are new, because I already have all the fossils in my exhibit, but it's good to know what they are. Who? More than one, I see. Let us take a closer look, shall we? Yes, indeed, quite splendid. Alas, our museum already has fossils such as these. I am indeed tempted to purchase them for my personal collection. But no, I must exercise restraint and return them to you now. Is there anything else I can help you with? Uh, no, that's all. Jolly good. Please enjoy the rest of your visit. Uh, I'll just look at what they are. En an enclo an enculo enculo torso, torso and osthenopteron. An Austral Australopith and another Austenopteron. So if you need any of those, um, let me know, because I don't need them. <laughs> uh, 
Oops, not camera. I wanted to go Nook Miles. Yeah, I have way too many Nook Miles. It's ridiculous. Uh, okay. Uh, so I'm just going to demonstrate what these look like. Uh, they actually have to be hung on a wall. So we're going to have to go back home to do that. Uh, which is why I suggested the basement. So just head over to our house, which is here. Uh, yeah, you can't put wall items out in in the like on your island you have to put them inside because there's no walls outside well i mean there are walls outside but that you know allowed to hang things on them for some reason anyway here's my basement um i made it look like a basement <laughs> and there are the three plaques um i think they're pretty nice um I, I don't know if you need more than one copy of them, and I have, you know, several, so I probably don't need them all, but, you know, they're, they're nice. Nice to have. Uh, sort by time, maybe? That should group them together, right? I just want to check... I know I have more of them, I just not sure where they are. Yeah, there's some more. Uh, anyway, if we have a look at, um... Where do fossils show up? I've forgotten. Oh, there we go. You can sort by type as well. Huh. Okay, I thought I actually had more than that, but apparently not. Like I said, I didn't do the stamp rally as many times as I thought. I've got three of each of them. <laughs> anyway, uh, fossils, fossils be in here somewhere. There they are. Oh yeah, they're miscellaneous, that's right. You can see I've got lots of stuff in here, so if you need any of these, you know, let me know. Uh, I'm just gonna scroll through them like this, you know, pause if you need to check exactly what something is. <laughs> uh, I have a lot of left, left Quetzal wings. Uh, yeah, since I filled up the exhibit, I've just been saving all my fossils. Um, in case you need something. Anyway, that's about it for this video, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I don't know what I'm doing next time. Maybe something else, maybe not. Uh, maybe the same thing. We will see. Anyway, bye! <laughs>